All right, I'll come over and say bye. <laughs> For the first time in 30 years, the Sacramento News and Review is shutting down its print operation with the coronavirus to blame. If people aren't out, they're not going to be able to pick up the paper. So we've laid off um, um, most of um, our staff temporarily. That's 40 people at the News and Review from Sacramento to Chico to Reno who lost their jobs because of the virus. Just like if there was a hurricane, we, can, we couldn't distribute the paper. From the newspaper business. I've got those good, good, good vibes. To the music industry, the newly unemployed are trying to make the best of a sour note. Heather Evans of Lincoln told us she's lost 10 musical gigs. And I also do music at a church locally and all services have been canceled. So literally my complete musician income was deleted basically. But Evans is trying to stay active by finding new ways to make money. Creating live stream events, live stream concerts um, where people can donate money still, but also um, finding side hustles. Like I'm doing a lot of classes online like webinars for other musicians. We're closed. California's unemployment department has closed its public counters but is ramping up online services to get checks out the door faster. In addition, the governor's office has been allowed us to waive the one week waiting period for these benefits, which means anyone found eligible could be paid benefits for that very first week they're unemployed. And there's a few bright spots in the economy. Amazon announcing today it plans to add 800 new workers at fulfillment centers in the Sacramento area and 12,000 across California. Raley's is looking to hire an additional 1,000 workers for its grocery stores. And Safeway is planning to expand as well.